Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to touch on studio monitors and why you should buy one as soon as possible. Um, we focus on electronic music here, but if you're a musician at all, why you should pick one up ASAP. I've been touching synthesizers for around 20 years now. You know, I've taken a few breaks within, within that 20 year lifespan. I'd say around 14 years, I've been touching gear pretty solid. And honestly, I didn't get my first pair of studio monitors till last year. So I've been t making electronic music and sharing it with other people without studio monitors for over 10 years. That was stupid. Honestly, it was pants on head stupid. Now that I've had studio monitors for you know almost a year now, and I see the difference with mixing in the sounds that I'm creating and that I'm giving to other people, it is absolutely night and day. Most people, when they make music, they wanna share it. They wanna give it to other people and they want other people to explore it and possibly enjoy it. You know, not everyone's gonna love your stuff. You learn that real fast when you start sharing music. But I like to think that most people who make music will have at least the idea of sharing it to somebody. Now, if you don't care and you never want to share your music to anybody in the world and you just want to keep it all to yourself, honestly, you might not need studio monitors because only you need to perceive your music and you're always going to hear it on your system and it's going to be built for that system. Well, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure that most musicians want to share their work eventually. Even at the very, very beginning when you suck and you want to develop and you want to grow. You still need to share your music and show how horrible you are to develop. And the fact is, the longer you wait to get studio monitors, the longer it's going to take for people who are listening to your music to hear what you're hearing in your room. Yes, I'm not 100% yet. I don't know if I can pass the car test, the faithful car test. But I know there's been a huge difference between when I started using my monitors to when I was mixing and making my music on various crap headphones or crap speaker systems that were not built for musical production. And I can understand maybe why you don't want to get studio monitors right away. They don't make sounds. They don't have their own unique noises. They don't have awesome capabilities like a lot of these electronic toys. They don't have lights. They don't have knobs. You know, they don't have all these cool things that synthesizers have. So it can be very easy to just keep buying gear, buying gear, buying gear. Studio Warner is like your translation piece to everybody else. So it doesn't matter anything you buy before the studio monitor. Chances are once you start sharing that, it's going to sound nothing like you are creating in your room. So to have any piece of gear sound anything like it's meant to, you need studio monitors. Unfortunately, it took me way too long to actually realize this because I am stupid, but you shouldn't be. And you should definitely buy studio monitors as soon as possible within your system. Now, as what is the best studio monitor, how to set them up, blah, 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 all that technical mumbo jumbo, I don't know. I can barely even get my sound company, you guys. There's a lot of video out there showing you know, how to stu set stuff up, um, studio monitors. Honestly, studio monitors themselves is an adventure. There are so many options. It can be a little bit overwhelming, but if just go through some videos, research your room, go to your local store, tell them the dimensions of your room, what you're working with, you know, talk to uh, get in some forums with some people who are in with studio monitors. If you know nothing about, just talk to people, get to people. Me, I came down to the idea that I wanted the HS08 from Yamaha. Um, I, I thought maybe the HS08 would be a little big for this room, but I risked it because I really wanted that bottom end that I heard they have because I'm a, addicted to sub bass and a lot of low end, and I figured it would just be really nice for my mixing style. So I'm really happy with the Yamaha HS08, and they've completely changed my music and how I portray my music to other people. But I definitely recommend if you have been making any type of music at all and you don't have studio monitors yet and you care about sharing your music, honestly, out of the, my 14 to 20 year electronic music experience, not getting studio monitors sooner is my largest regret. 
Because even when you're growing and you're sharing your music, it's going to actually show it in its truest form. So what's up, guys? Were you guys, like, stupid like me and waited 10 years to get studio monitors? Or were you guys actually semi-intelligent human beings, you know, functional humans, and actually got something within a reasonable time frame? Um, what, what, what studio monitors did you get? I ended up getting the HS08s. Uh, I'd love to hear your studio monitor stories. Um, which ones you got, which ones vibe to your music. Really important to you in the development of your sound. Probably just as important as any musical gear, any equipment, any electronic piece that you plug into them. So you should definitely pick one up if you don't. I'd love to hear the ones that you use in your studio. Don't be stupid like me and wait 10 years to get one. Until next time, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, and peace.